Alex. Ooh. Yes. Black Mirror time, baby. Yeah, that's right. Now it's time for episode two. Episode two, season two of Black Mirror. Of season two. Of season two. If you knew, I've been taking Alec through. I've seen every episode, but he has not. And we're going for the beginning. So you can go back and watch our playlist of all the episodes thus far. All right. So last episode was Be Right Back. Be Right Back. Which I didn't mention at the time, but it's very, it gives me very much like short film, indie short film vibes now, now that I think of it. Like I could see that, like w- yeah. winning some awards at a film festival, kind of thing. Yeah, because of its yeah, like, yeah especially as it's got a downer ending too. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like almost artsy in approach, and it's like not not the craziest, not my favorite, most exciting episode, but uh, it still yeah. it gets you thinking. Our, our house vibes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's interesting though. All of these have been downer endings. Now I think about it. Yeah, yeah. it tends to be a trend, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, makes sense, I guess, right? That's the sort of vibe you're going for. Is, is it's like uh, dystopian almost? Yeah, it's like technology. <laughs> the technology, the impact of technology is never like a good thing in Black Mirror. Mm. Huh? Mm. Like, look at this amazing technology now. We utilized it in a good way. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so we're gonna get into it. There's not much to preface. This is episode two. Is a white bear is what it's called. Mm. And you can click the link no, in the description to see the highlights of our reaction and then come back afterwards for what should be a good discussion, as always. On All our... right. See you then. All right. Well, there you have it. That was White Bear. <laughs> that was a... That was a horribly upsetting. <laughs> that was a horribly upsetting episode of television. Yeah, like everything about it. Like the first first half, it's like this woman getting needlessly pursued, and uh, then it's the very twi- scary and, and un- uncomfortable yeah. from her position. Yeah, and then and then it turns around and it's like, oh, actually, you are this monster, and we're we're doing all this to you. And I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. That's horribly unsettling for a completely different reason now. <laughs> yeah. Like everything about it is awful. That's just awful. Yeah, like this main host guy, he's bad he's a bad dude, right? He's a bad Yeah, guy. no. He's, none like, of, the, loving none of the, it. He's loving it. And everyone's like heralding him as, as this master. And of... look, it's like literally the morality of it. You have to question the morality of it. <laughs> she doesn't, there, she doesn't there, have there any are... memory of doing this thing. Yeah. So you're literally like you've taken a, a clean slate and now you're torturing this woman. Like you're not torturing the woman who who did the thing. This is like a different woman. Basically. Yeah, basic pretty much, yeah. Like, and you're having her you're having her like you're having her relive like the same horrible experience that the little girl did, but she doesn't you're doing it repeatedly to her. It's not really justice. Over and over and over again. I have a hard time no. buying that as justice, even if it's like you did this to her, so we'll do this to you. But it's like, okay, but you don't. She didn't have any memory of doing it, so she basically yeah. didn't do it in the, at yeah. this point. But like, yeah, she's capable of doing it. I guess she's the that person. But sure, but so is anybody. Like, look at all the freaking imagination that they came up with to to all this nightmarish scenario. Does that not mean that they're they also are capable of it? I mean, they're doing it to her repeatedly. Yeah, and they really made a whole park out of it white bear justice park where you bring the whole family and just have fun playing being a, a part of it you know just yeah you just part enjoy it with your phone yeah huh. it's it's sadistic it's horribly vile and sadistic i'm and having trouble seeing how this happens like how does this even happen like yeah like what 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 like what justice system would be like Yes, this is totally acceptable. Yeah, to it was do. really like the judge <laughs> had, yeah. to have had some part in this happening. Like, yeah, like like did they did they think that this case was so sinister, so evil that like, well, we have to we have to come up with some way to truly punish them. I feel like it's like death is too good for them. Look, because justice is not you get it's not an eye for an eye. That's not really what justice is. And is even even if it is an eye for an eye, like we once you take the memory away, it's not it's not really that anymore. It's, no, it's, it's, not, it's not, more yeah. on you now. Is you're the you're the bad one. You're per- you're continuously perpetrating the evil for 
and for entertainment basically for entertainment yeah it's like isn't that isn't that sort of it's also it, it's it's kind of wild to me because it's like uh it's not even about the little girl anymore yeah and you literally right? use her her likeness in the yeah for this entertainment too how is that yeah like how did or, that or happen? What, yeah how does that happen? Her family what? really let her let them use her actual picture in this weird torture of of this woman that did this to her, but it's like a mm-hmm. constant reminder, right? Isn't it weird? Yeah. I don't know. And then That's she's like... thinking it's her daughter the whole time. It's a weird thing to agree to have your daughter's picture use, like literally the actual daughter's picture. Yeah. So they would be okay with perpetrating this this evil being be done to this person. Yes, one evil, horrible, horrible, horrible thing was done, but that that death then perpetuates a continued repetition of evil over and over and over again to someone. Like mm-hmm. like this is this is like this is living proof that there are fates worse worse than death. This is literally this is much worse. This is like actual in a, a hell. It's like a weird. Yeah. it is a version of hell. Yeah. On Earth, so, right there. so is she is she just gonna keep doing this until she gets like old and crusty? Like, yeah. are they just and like the entertainment, or... even the entertainment of it, even if you just like take out the morality of it, how entertaining is it? It's, it's pretty much the same thing being played yeah. out every day. I guess the experience of being there is one thing, right? It's like, oh, you're part of the park. It's a, th- a thrill. It's like you're interacting with it, but. I don't know the fact that like people sit there at the end, they're excited in the audience, like. Yeah. the big reveal as if they haven't seen it posted online like a hundred times already the same right. reveal like what are you right you yeah like that? it's like it's the same thing right it's so it's like how how long how long could you go on for right it's like you need different it's... stories right but it seems like they do the same story every day maybe they'll change it up a bit season season two yeah. you know they'll, they'll change it up switch it up a little bit you know we'll do season two of the story arc but i cannot believe sometimes Whatever i can't believe like Obviously, the take is a technology or, or um, well, first of all, the punishment is based on the fact that I guess they, f- they film this on their phone. Yeah. So it's like, it's weird they're being cute about it. Like, oh, yeah. we'll make a game out of that. Since, since they filmed this on their phone, we'll have everybody film it on their phone. Won't that be some justice? Yeah, see how, see how she feels when that happens, when we you tell her about it. And it's yeah. like, of course, she's going to feel horrible. But like, she also doesn't even really remember doing it. So it's like. Yeah. How does she feel anything? And then, like, oh, uh, we'll take his tattoo and make that the the logo of the, the the main piece of the story. All these little details they took, and the white bear, which was apparently an enduring symbol of hope during the the whole thing. But, yeah. But now they're gonna take that and be make that the name of the location where they go at the end. Yeah. They're doing all this weird, cute stuff with actual horrible things that happened, and just like making it into. It's yeah, a cute little it's, story, but it's it's a sick perversion of something that should be remembered in a completely different way than it is. Like it's a, yeah, it's such a weird perversion of like well, it's a perversion of justice, obviously, but it's like a perversion of the story too. Like it's mm-hmm. like yes, the point of it is because of she did this horrible, she and her fiance did this terrible thing to this little girl, but like it 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 had it's we it, yeah, it's like it's totally screwing with the meaning of that even so it's like very very th- sick <laughs> and twisted but like obviously the thing that's supposed to be unsettling about it is that we can see that it's more wrong but then you see it yeah. in the end like seeing the white bear justice bark you can see all the like the family just like laughing and smiling about yeah. what they're about to get into and that's what makes it unsettling is there is that right. disconnect but Everyone's just, find, just buying into uh, it. Yeah. I find a hard time that I have a hard time believing we could get to that point. Um, just yeah, like where people, we are now, people, like the morality yeah. that's like so much of a suspension of morality. I feel like most people they didn't seem like bad, inherently awful people. It's just like a bunch of like everyday people there. Yeah, I feel like most people would have a sense of morality enough to see that. Okay, this woman has no memory of what she did. So we're, you realize we're just torturing a woman at this point. Yeah. Right. And we're. And yeah, especially I love like fun. he was like, "Don't give me these crocodile, crocodile tears." tears yeah. And I was like, "No, those are like look that woman that you've completely <laughs> brainwashed her. She has no memory. You basically 
<laughs> like uh, here's the thing is there any way to revert it it doesn't seem like it, it seems like the technology literally wipes her memory mm-hmm. to to a, to a degree it's like she gets flashes of stuff but the flashes of stuff that she gets are like the video that she watches of the little girl at the end and the the guy like she gets flashes of the repeated loops of her going on this i when i said time loop i didn't realize it was it was actually like it's not time loop it's a performance loop Mm -hmm. right so yeah i mean that's just that's just a what a story what a what a story you know because like this the the idea of this like an experience like this would be fun if it was an actual torture on somebody like if you just make a story and you can you can like interact with like actors and you can interact with it in some way like yeah that's awesome like like a live it's like a live theater it's like a it's almost like a live escape room theater is almost like to a degree i mean there's no escaping anything but it's like the way that you're interacting with like an environment you're interacting with characters and yeah because they took it one direction where it's all about justice it is a white bird justice park but they could have taken it in another direction and made it like unbeknownst to the people as well may be like oh they they think she is an actor but she's not an actor all this time you know mm. so that could have been an angle they took they took it would have been a different story but I imagine that would have been interesting also was everybody everybody happy gleefully torturing this woman thinking it's just all part of the act but right but then though, she's not actually in on it there have been other things there have been things that have taken that concept um uh, Dead Man Wonderland is an is a manga and anime series where there's like this theme park where uh, prisoners are like kill each other for people's entertainment, but the public perception is that it's not real. It's all special effects. It's all mm. you know. It's all fake. When in actuality, no, it's all real, and all of that stuff is taking place, and they're actually murdering each other. Yeah. Um. So like that. That's an interesting, I mean, that's an interesting concept uh, in and of itself. But like, this is, yeah, I, I kind of, that that would be an interesting angle that they took it, but um, because like that, that's that's more like, that that's more like gray area. Like, she's not actually being hurt and they're giving, she's giving a performance of a lifetime because she's, has her memory wiped and it's really real. But that's still sick too, because, you know, but you're taking this person's free will away basically and using it for cheap thrills you know this, this is really what it is cheap thrills that's all it is yeah i just like the justice of it all it feels weird yeah so there's I, no I justice a hard here time buying that people really think this would be as justice like yeah I, yeah i don't know. see this ever even in the realm of possibility there, there i feel like there is a little bit it's a it goes maybe a little too far in terms of like having us buy into that concept maybe i don't know maybe if it was something that was like it wasn't like a it wasn't like a like a performance like it wasn't like a a, i was thinking if it was just like a one-time thing then it's like okay well this is still messed up because they are basically torturing a a woman right but no it's something that they perpetually do is even wilder to me Mm -hmm. so her boyfriend is the one who's doing the horrible things Mm-hmm. And who actually murders her in the end, but she's filming it all. And she like her argument to the judge is that she she was under his spell was the quote. Mm-hmm. And then obviously they didn't buy it, but somehow they're the judge is like, Oh, you're gonna have a freaking awful punishment. I'm actually gonna agree to just them putting you through hell for all time. Yeah. For, <laughs> until you die, basically. That's yeah. My, that's my punish. That is my judgment. Also, this seems like a very expensive thing to do, right? You know, we've talked about, like, you, you look at criminal justice numbers and stuff like that, like, where, I don't know if you've ever done any any looking into this, but it's actually way more expensive to uh, kill somebody when they're in prison than it is to keep them in prison for the rest of their life. Mm-hmm. Um, so, like, putting someone on death row, way more expensive, way more expensive than actually just letting them live a sentence. Um which is kind of crazy to think about. Also, um, wait, wait, wait. isn't this like what? What is the woman who, this woman who did this thing? What is she thinking yeah. when they're like putting her about to put her into this like losing her memory? Like, yeah. okay, we're gonna put you through this show and make you lo- you're gonna lose your memory about it. It's like, okay, well then, 
Yeah, where's the law? How where the not, where's the legal defense of that? Right? It's not really where's, it's not really accountability, right? You're not she's not experiencing it. She's like, okay, so I'm basically dying. Or like, yeah, like I'm not about it's, to be tortured. Well, I'm not gonna. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. It was like, where's the, where's the, where's the legal defense? Where's her de- defense attorney to like combat that? Where's any of the? I feel like if there had been some effort to show maybe like some sort of counter to any of this, like I, I just have a hard time believing that everyone would buy into it. You know, like there would have to be some people. I guess that's not really the point of the show to 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 do that yeah. to raise the the question it's really just a kind of it's a because you don't have a lot it's a of vignette time, so yeah it's a vignette piece or not vignette but it's like yeah you only have a certain period of time you can't you can't delve into all the complexities of it but but i'm saying even the woman who committed this crime would she be mortified at this punishment it's basically death in a different way you know like you're you're losing your memory so it's not you that's undergoing the punishment but it's like I mean, I would be, I would, uh, I would be pretty insulted if my, uh, in knowing, yes, I won't know it for the future, but knowing that my image and that everyone who is, uh, everyone I know who knows me is affected by it. Mm-hmm. My image is paraded around for all time. Yeah, I might not have memory of it. It might be me dying, but it's still going to affect everyone in my life that knows me. You know. Mm-hmm. So it's like it, 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 the, the impact of what something that happens specifically to you might not matter as much, but you know, reflecting out to the people that are in your life, it, it's going to have ramifications for their lives too. You could ruin their lives, basically. Well, yeah. and to have your memory tarnished for them, that's like that's their legacy that's tarnished too. Yeah. Yeah. So, but it's like death. I guess yeah, death would be better, but sure. it's like <laughs> just a weird sentence. I don't know how you get to this point. <laughs> how does it? How does it get that far? Yeah. And then the host is just so thrilled. He's so thrilled to host it every time, and he and he plays his he plays a couple roles. He hosts it and he sets he helps set it up. It's like he's. So does he do that every home. every day, every day of his life? Yeah, and then every every day he's like, "You always say that." <laughs> he says that every time, whenever she's like, uh, she doesn't want to see the video, he, and he revels it yeah. in every time because he's clearly done yeah. this for like this, at least a whole month, if not. He's like, "Oh yeah, I'll watch you. He'll have to show you the video of the girl that you tortured. I'll show you, have you watched the torturing? Yeah, it's like that's kind of that's kind of freaking." Si- sick too I, like why would the why would the why would the state or the family like want that released like even for because that's that's literally being used for like a private sort of use you know i can't imagine this is a public park maybe it's a public park but that means that like the the, the, the government is like funding this you know i guess i don't necessarily Some know how britain's laws work judicial system but yeah I guess I don't really, really understand exactly how Britain's laws right. work in in that regard, but they could. I guess they might have weird punishments like this. We don't know about it. You just yeah. don't hear about these punishments they got going on. Well, it's true. You know, uh, Britain doesn't have a written constitution, so it's like I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's uh, I don't know. Is it weird that they even have access yet to the video? Why do the do the parents not have to sign off on like just letting their child's likeness be used in this weird entertainment i feel like you would naturally not do that but i guess all morality is put into question here because yeah. i would have thought all oh, this would naturally you'd be against it it's it's yeah. in, to me this to me the interesting angle of this is that we're feeling uh, we're led to feel bad for somebody who did a horrible atrocity yeah but i mean i get that that's what they're going for but I still feel bad for this person because it's not that person, right? Yeah. Should I not oh, feel yeah. bad I for mean, this I person? Feel... I don't know where you're supposed to feel. Yeah, I mean, I think maybe you are supposed to like question. It's like, oh, well, this person did this horrible thing. So is it okay if this is happening? But and it's this, like, well, this no. This person didn't do that horrible Even... thing. Yeah, but, but okay. That person. Take, taking that concept away, taking that particular aspect of it away, like it's still a horrible thing to do to somebody. I mean, absolutely monstrous thing to do to to, to somebody. Oh, yeah, that's what I was gonna say before. I forgot. It was like the eye for an eye thing. 
Mm-hmm. First of all, that's not just how, how justice works. Like, you can't just do... It's not like, oh, this guy freaking hammered this woman's arms for hours and and drilled drilled her back and all those things. So we're that the yeah. punishment is we're gonna do that. We're just gonna you can't you don't just do that. That's not how that works. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, so first of all, you can't just do the one to one like eye for an eye. Yeah. And second of all, as soon as you take the memory away, you're already like you've overstepped complete opposite all direction. It's, yeah. not, it's, not, it's not punishing that person anymore. It's, the person doesn't yeah. know what they did. Yeah. I mean, yeah, to, to a degree you are, because it's like, even though, even though she can't remember what it is, the fact remains that it's like the person, that person still did it. Even, even if her memory isn't there anymore, it's still her. So, so from, from an outside perspective, not from her perspective, from, from an outside perspective, you could manipulate your mind into thinking, into, into rationalizing the fact that, okay, well, we're just taking her memories away. So we get an entertainment out of it, but like, yeah, it is, as you've said, it is effectively a different person, though, because that you've taken her memories away. So that so that reaction is you're 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 getting off on watching just a random person for lack of uh, her of her memory for lack of her memory, a random person get tortured for hours on end every day. Well, it has me questioning what makes up a human and like what makes a person a, a person because. It's not like they're taking her just, back. It's not, it's not like they're taking not, her back to the day before she did this, so she's in right. that state of mind. Like she has no memory whatsoever. She doesn't even know who she is. Right. So I don't even know if that person would do something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I guess that does that does beg that question. I mean, I think a person is more than just their memories because our memories fail us all the time anyway. Mm-hmm. Like me- memories aren't perfect. Um, don't know, we don't know. We who forget you things. Are. A lot of what you do is based on like your upbringing and your environment things like that have a huge part in, in what you end up doing so if you have no memory of who you are i feel like that's a completely different person yeah yeah right yeah i mean to a degree I, I, like i like i said like just say tomorrow i always get my entire memories wiped that still doesn't mean that everything that i've done has never happened I, it doesn't it it doesn't necessarily mean that i am not this not the the same individual like the individual soul the person but because because all the stuff that i did still happened that makes it still me but this the uh, fact that i don't have a memory of it basically yes the identity of myself is gone because it's been effectively wiped out that doesn't mean that I don't exist anymore. It just means <laughs> an essential component of me doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> but in that way, it would be weird to hold you accountable for something you did as a yeah. new version of yourself. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's what's yeah. that's what's kind of sick about it, right? Yeah. But yeah, just thinking about it, that's a really difficult thing to think about. <laughs> What makes what makes you you? Like, is it really now that I think of it, it's like yeah, so much of it is your environment. So much of what you become is based on your environment. So you take your memories yeah, you're, away. I, like yeah, this yeah. person might not even want, would not even do something like that. I feel like, <laughs> like the crime she's seeing, she's like, oh yeah, that is awful. Oh, I did that, so I guess yeah, I'm supposed how, to feel how, bad for that. How, how do you hold a person that has uh, that is effectively not that person anymore responsibility for actions that she can't even remember that she did? And she she probably is against it herself. She's like, yeah, I agree with you guys. What's going on here? That is all. Yeah, it's it's tough because it's like okay, maybe she doesn't remember that she did them, but she still did them, right? She did. So it's them. like okay, but would she do them in her in her new in the state in life? the current state? No, I don't <laughs> think so. She seemed like she you know, but. Who knows? She she doesn't have any memory. She's effectively like, if she didn't ha- if okay, think about it this way: if they didn't plant those things to like basically give her the idea that there's, and they basically planted like, was that your daughter? Like they they're like they're planting that idea that that's her daughter in her mm-hmm. mind. So like, if they didn't do that, she'd basically just be like a, a vagrant, like a complete nutcase. Like she'd probably just die somewhere. 
if they didn't like, you think about that mm-hmm. <laughs> that like <laughs> that's kind of wild too you know yeah yeah what i mean you don't have to get that cute with it like it's no it's, it's a bad yeah, it's, it's it's a bad thing that she did for sure but you don't have to show. Like, you don't have to make up a whole freaking routine and, and yeah. entertainment out of it just give her an actual punishment right but this, yeah this this per- seems that, like a that weird... person got out of it like she's not there anymore like the person <laughs> who actually did this crime she's gone yeah and now this woman, this new woman in her place, is is suffering the the consequences of it. So I want to know what she well, was yeah, thinking and when she's about to lose her well, memory. You think, like you think of it too, that also the that's I guess that is kind of the pain of of people suffering from Alzheimer's, right? And that, that's what people say. Like it's it's like they're dying more than once because it's like if if you know if you die from basically your Alzheimer's is like you're losing the person gradually over time rather than, rather than just a, a death, a, a quick way, way to die. You know, mm-hmm. with Alzheimer's, the cruel disease that it is, it, 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 it slowly eats the person away that you knew until they're, until they stop recognizing basic components of their life. So that, yeah, so they do effectively change, you know, Mm-hmm. which is which is like yeah it is hard to hold it's hard to hold people responsible for what they do when they have dementia you know because like they they don't know any better they can't help it here's the it's, thing she's at a clean slate we agree yeah. that it's bad to to punish or torture a woman who has no memory it's obviously morally wrong what? But let's take a step back. Is it is it okay to torture a woman who did do this? And no, use that as this is that's 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 where that's kind of what I was I was trying to sort of get into. No, absolutely not. Like even if this woman had full memory of it, it's, it's still no. Yeah, that's what I the, that's what uh, I was gonna say. No, absolutely not. This is this is a hor- no, absolutely not. It is not morally correct to do something like that. No. Yes, yeah, so I just, like, I, just like, I completely disagree. It's like, where's the moral compass here? Like, on any yeah. of these people, none of these people have feel any accountability for this for what they're doing here they just think yeah. it's fun jolly i don't know lock him up lock him <laughs> lock Mad, lock her up <laughs> murderer, yeah, you just, yeah i know it's like seriously <laughs> throwing, throwing freaking tomatoes freaking what is this the, the 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 early 20th century throwing tomatoes at the performers like, what is you this can't crap even plead ardent you or you can't even plead ignorance here and then like they give full disclosure that like her memory's been wiped and we're putting on a yeah. show. It's yeah. not like, oh, we think this is the the woman that did this. Like, yeah, and we're just <laughs> so yelling oh, yeah. murderer so, and okay. bitch to this woman who okay. has no memory of it. Like, okay, I mean, like, I, so I for all for all beyond shadow of a doubt, it, it was her that did it. We'll just say that. But like, mm-hmm. what if in this instance there was there was like some unknown, right? Like maybe it was like, oh, well, he had multiple women that was that he was had under her spell or whatever. But like, it's like, we believe it's her, but based on this evidence, it's like, well, what if it turned out that it wasn't actually her? What if like someone else did it? So it means that they've been torturing, not only have they been torturing the wrong person because she doesn't have a memory of it anyways, but they've been the wrong like body (laughs) of that person has been being punished and put through hell. I'd assume this wacky fun punishment is only reserved for the 100%. (laughs) Wacky fun punishment. uh, It's only reserved for the 100% certainty cases, I would hope. Yeah. The judge wouldn't be giving this out to everybody. Like, (laughs) (laughs) we have White Bear Justice Park, we have Golden Fish uh, Justice Park, and we've got a. All based on different little iconic parts of the traumatizing things they put people through. Just so you remember them near. That's right. Wow. It's weird. Weird. Society got weird, bro. Yeah, apparently it did. I don't know. Couldn't be me. So, like, sometimes with these dystopian future or, like, weird, bad future things, um, it's like people, you gotta have some moral accountability here. It's like suddenly just, like, all morals are out the window because. It's yeah, to me it's like this 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 almost like I think it just overstepped a little bit in terms of that. Like or it just feels like too far gone for it to, to for it to feel like real in any way. 
and maybe that's the point maybe maybe the point is not the stuff we're focusing on but it's more of the isn't it interesting that you're feeling bad for somebody that did such a horrible thing to someone Hmm. and it's like yeah because there there is truly a fate worse than death i mean this is one of them if should this ever be able to happen I I thought for sure going into this that the commentary was going to be that people are on their phones recording stuff too much, you know. Yeah, it and does then, sort of feel like that, right? And then that and has then, a little somehow to do with that's it. represented, but no, yes, yeah, yeah, actually, just because the crime was recorded on a phone, she recorded it, so it's just to flip it on her. That's what you got to do. Yeah, be all cute about it. Yeah, just be all cute and record this woman who can't remember anything. Good job. You, you win this time. Yeah, like, that's it. the thing. It's like, oh, yeah, well, that's score one for, for justice. And it's like, what? How would anyone ever think that that's, <laughs> that could be just in any Not sort of way? It's like immorally wrong to begin with, but no justice is being had. This woman has no memory of it, so there's not actually justice on the on the person who committed the crime. The little girl isn't really remembered except for this prop in this uh actual in this... prop, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Lost there's no like statue of for... there's no like statue of her anywhere in like the lobby or anything. They're just like, yeah, have a good time at this park where we torture this woman. We've lost our way. We've lost yeah. our way here, I think. Yeah, the freaking like little children in the that they're they have to be like, ah oh, well, have a good time. It's like <laughs> what are you what are you teaching the the future right what are you, what are you teaching Keep your them? distance because you know sometimes things happen but then we go into story shutdown and then we lose a day's work so that's no good well that's that's the sequel somebody breaks into and then kills all the actors and oh yeah it's like well that's a natural thing right that's what i want to yeah. see like there's I can't see this functioning. If if there are people yeah. with any semblance of morality, like there, there should be much more outrage to counteract this. Have Have you seen the Truman Show? That's what I was thinking. I was, I was gonna. This say is that. that is this concept done infinitely better. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it's well, like you know, they're not punishing. They're not punishing him. But I mean, it's the concept of of having someone's life be or lack thereof as, be enter- in entertainment much better because that is like a completely morally wrong thing to do but you can convince yourself more that the, to go along with it because they're not actually doing bad things to him they're giving him a wonderful life yeah an ideal life and there is like these all these actors involved um but yeah instead, that, instead that's, of having a, that's a, a- that's a fantastic movie, by yeah. the way. I'm just thinking about how good of a movie that is. Instead of having audience members actually interact in it, though, the only things with that yeah. is when, when people would randomly the, break well, in. Right, yeah. And, like, and, but there would be people that are adamantly against it, obviously. But sure. I feel like this yeah. much more so, it should not even be able to function, you'd think, naturally. Like, if that would happen today. Punishable, happen, be punishable like... by, but, yeah. How do you punish people who to break into the Justice Park? <laughs> yeah, like, punishable by jail time. <laughs> like, where's the justice? Where's the justice well, for the people who break you, into? You would want just the only way to actually get actual justice is to have justice on the people who participate in Justice Park. So you got to yeah. take all the people who have participated <laughs> in this immoral <laughs> thing and then. <laughs> throw them into a little uh story scenario yeah them. there you go they... <laughs> and we'll watch that one yeah the story is going to be about how they participated in justice park that's what the story <laughs> is <laughs> like, like, how do you like it now we're now we're torturing you about it yeah and then it's just got to keep punishing the it is you got to keep punishing these people there's not enough yeah. justice. we're gonna force we're gonna force you to to film somebody being tortured all the time and that you're going to participate in the filming that's that's your punishment yeah we need to get some justice here like yeah. gotta get justice <laughs> not you have to be parts. all cute about it yeah the whole country turns into justice parks but i just don't think it would be you'll be able to run this operation no even if you had a moral that's what I mean. niche that's... of people that would agree to it right and that's what i was saying in terms of like the expenses like of of how like pe- people on death row cost more money for them than to just give them a life sentence Mm-hmm. um it's like this 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 has to be unbelievably expensive just for this one you have yeah. to pay actors you have to keep like facilities up and running you have to take care of the people right you have to like costumes outrage, you have to do repairs the outrage you know? alone would just shut the shit down you would have people yeah. just storming non-stop just to put a stop to it like it's not it's not a lockdown in. place it's just an open yeah. open thing 
you'd have people flying in, you'd have people rioting, and it would just, you couldn't just function peacefully as it seems to do here, you know, like a jolly little place. It's a jolly little place. It's a nice little happy Justice Park. But I guess it's a different reality, almost like futuristic, but it doesn't seem, it seems like it, it could just be our time now. I like how it's white bear, by the way, not like polar bear. Just like it's a white bear. It's a oh. white bear. The white teddy bear. Yeah. This is what they got it from. So. The little girl's white teddy bear. Mm-hmm. Or white polar bear teddy bear. All right. Well. I think that's it. We've we've yeah. definitely, I think we've, we've run this subject dry. But if we haven't, there was more that you think we could have talked about. Maybe you had a perspective on this that you'd like to tell us about. Yeah, you, you can click the... Yeah, maybe you disagree. Maybe you love this episode. I don't even know what I feel about this episode. I don't think I particularly enjoyed it. I've always enjoyed this episode. I found myself not enjoying it as much now. Yeah. But I almost feel it was less enjoyable for me knowing that it was all fake because I feel like there's a a little more intrigue going into it where I'm just like, well, what is going on? All this weird stuff. Just because like it's it's a relatively unpleasant experience all around, but I can't say that I didn't didn't like it. I don't know. I don't even know how I feel about the episode. It's, it was good scariness, it's, like yeah, unsettling the, with the, the mask, the bunny woman with her weird yeah drill, like the, yeah, the, like all that stuff, stuff is all that stuff is effectively creepy. But yeah, uh, to click the link in the description below uh, to go to a Google form, fill it out. Uh, you know, tell us what you felt about the episode or t- tell us how much you disagree with what we said. Uh, you can do that as well. Uh, leave that. And uh, we, who knows, we might be able to uh, someday we'll talk about it possibly. So mm-hmm. we'll go through. we will read them all. Um, you might be featured on an episode if you, if you go do that. So yeah, right. Zach, I think that's about it. Where should the fine people go? What should they check out after they're done this? Go watch episode three of Black Mirror. You know what I'm saying? A reaction. That was a good one. Liam. The memory of you or something? He's tossing himself off all over his cashmere blanket. Yeah. That's right. With memories of a previous, uh, what did he say? Conquest? I don't know. Con- definitely we'll not. Definitely not. Okay. Definitely not. But that was the uh, entire history of you. The entire yeah. history of you. That's it. Yeah. That was fun. That was a good episode. That was a great episode. I think that's still my favorite. So, hmm. all right. Well, subscribe yeah. to the channel and uh, hit that notification bell for more. Click all the links in the description for all the social media and everything else. Mm-hmm. All right. Until next time, next week, more Black Mirror. All right. Mm-hmm.